Hello all, welcome you and today we are going to start 21 days of coding challenge AL programming bootcamp. So you're going to learn with me Dr. Gomati. So this is a detailed agenda of what we'll be learning on these 22 days, okay, 21 days, okay. So the very first one is introduction to AL programming and extension. So that is what today we'll be learning about what is AL programming, what are the extensions, how to install all these things and everything and I, by the end I'll be giving you a small exercise and the day two we'll be learning that is tomorrow we'll be learning variables and data types in AL programming and day three we'll be learning statements and comments in AL programming day four will be on snippets used to create objects in business central day five is on arithmetic operators we will understand what are the arithmetic operators in AL programming Day 6 will be on relational operator. Day 7 will be on logical operator. Day 8 will be on unary and binary operators. Day 9 is on um, list and dictionary. Day 10 is about conditional statements. So these are all the very basics, okay? And once we complete these day, 10 days, then we will move on to system defined variables. What are system defined variables and what are the user defined variables as well? And we'll be understanding about the access modifiers in day 12 and built-in functions, procedures in day 14, loops in day 15, triggers in day 16, commonly used methods in AL programming in day 17, other methods in day 18. Uh, in, uh, on day 19, we'll be learning error handling and uh, we proceed with interface. Finally, we will understand rules, guidelines and best practices while programming with AL programming. So this is what it is involved. So if you have any other topics in your mind, please leave that in the comment box. So where I, we will include it after these 21 days of session because this is completely tailored program. If you are new to AL programming or even if you know some basics about AL programming but if you want to improvise yourself so this bootcamp will be useful for you. So what are the objective of this particular bootcamp is what very first one is mastering AL programming in three weeks. Of course you cannot master until you try to uh, do it in a project or you are practicing daily but anyhow you will be learning the basics towards the intermediate level the second one is dedicate 10 to 20 minutes each day to this learning journey so you have to dedicate 10 to 20 minutes daily in order to in order to learn these things okay and new video lessons will premiere uh, promptly at 6 p.m. each evening. So right from today to next 20 days, you will be getting the videos exactly at 6 p.m. or between 6 to uh, 7 p.m. So you can watch that, okay, and learn it. Members of this community will enjoy advanced access to the bootcamp. That is, if you are a member of this uh, channel, that is Gomes Tech Talks channel, so you will have access to prior to 24 hours or 48 hours. So that I'm just, uh, I'll be uploading it previously like priorly you can just go and watch it exclusive resources such as documents whatever i'm discussing in this video whatever is created in this video right? like our ppt documents P, uh, pdf exercises and direct assistance if you are facing any uh, error while trying the code so all these things you can directly um, uh, like I will be you can access that and you can directly talk to me through a mail or a chat or etc if you are a member of this channel okay um, subscribers okay you are invited to view the video content and engage in hands-on practice so you can view the videos subscribers will receive comment based support throughout the challenge okay so if you are facing any issues I'll be uh, giving you the comment based support but uh, it won't be immediate but definitely you'll be getting it so finish the challenge and earn a set of five outstanding ebooks on the business central what is the final result if you have completed the challenge you have to inform me through the comment okay so you have to actively uh, uh, be like you have to actively participate in the comment as well daily whenever you completed the daily uh, exercise you can leave a comment that you have completed or whatever so you will be getting so once if you uh, have completed this no you will be getting a um, um, ebook five ebooks which is basically on business central so yes and uh, this should be like uh, for example from today to next 20 days right so this uh, option that is challenge completion is available till next uh, nine days okay so you have to complete it and send it to me after that it is not valid that is uh, outstanding ebooks are not valid and special mentions will be given in the channel for the subscribers those who have completed the 
um completed the uh, challenge and daily those who are uh, viewing it and if you you can also post that whether this is really helping you to learn something and achieve something in your uh, uh, career and also in the future okay so this is what so this is my channel gomes tech talks if you haven't uh, subscribed yet so please go and subscribe now okay you can uh, find this so how to subscribe here you can click it and if you want to join as a, a member you can join here so thank you for all the members who are already joined and giving me a lot of supports and i uh, if you wanted to get the exclusive access to all these content so please join here okay so here you can join so day one agenda so we are today in day one challenge okay what are the agenda here is what the first one is introduction to al programming so we will be understanding what is al programming overview of microsoft dynamics 365 business central and definition of al programming and then we'll be learning characteristics of al programming um, because uh, we as if you are a programmer if you already know python or c or something you might have faced a concept called object oriented programming features we'll be understanding how this al programming whether it has object oriented features or what it has and then next one will be al programming use cases we'll be learning some use cases where al programming is used getting started with al programming what are the basic requirements you want and purpose of al programming applications of al programming where it is really used and uh, uh, limitations of al programming what are the limitations and finally we will conclude with a exercise okay we'll i will be showing you the exercise and the conclusion so the introduction to al programming is what the al programming uh, is stands for application language programming which is the backbone of customization in microsoft dynamics 365 business central so al means what application language okay application language which is specifically designed uh, for microsoft dynamics 365 business central okay so this language allows developers to extend customize and manipulate data with business central within the business central database ensuring that business can tailor the platform to their unique processes and needs okay so this is what the detailed introduction about al programming this is specifically for microsoft dynamics 365 business central okay and with this you can create extension you can create uh, um, you can you can uh, 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 customize the data you can customize your uh, uh, customize your uh, erp and you can also do manipulate you can also manipulate the data okay so what is the purpose of al programming is mail programming is multifaceted okay so what does it mean it's used to create extensions for business central that is what the primary purpose of al programming okay these extensions can range from simple modification like you can do a simple modifications to complex additions that significantly enhance the platform's capability so al programming is essential for businesses looking to personalize their experience with business central allowing for operations like data manipulation so you can do data manipulation uh, like reading writing changing the data uh, to be seamlessly integrate into the existing business central environment okay this is the complete purpose so you may have a doubt like ma'am i am basically from a different background i am not a computer science student i am from a different background whether i can learn al programming yes of course you can learn al programming so even you are uh, even though you are a functional consultant okay though you have experience in a functional consultant business central functional consultant understanding l programming will be an addition add on for your job so understand the basics of l programming this will definitely work out so next to talk about the characteristics of al programming why it is created like what are the characteristics so al programming shares some some characteristics with object oriented programming as well so if you know programming like if you have already the, uh, did some programming uh, using a c or c++ or java so you might have heard about a word called object oriented programming language so 
uh, though it shares it is not completely oops okay so al programming is not a complete object oriented programming language mm-hmm. but though it uh, it tailored specifically for business central and it has some characteristics of objects object oriented programming language okay mm-hmm. so it allows developers to define and manipulate objects such as tables for data storage pages for ui so what we will be doing we have tables right usually uh, tables are used to store the data okay and we have pages in al programming which which serves as a ui which is user interface for the uh, for the users and we also support reports for data representation so report like finally we'll be generating a report like what has happened and what is the invoice what are the um, what are the Uh, total like uh, financial statements on all these things right so report which is for data representation okay and code units will be writing will be creating a code units which is for logic okay which is to create some business logic in uh, erp like your business central so each of these objects can have properties triggers and methods enabling a structured and powerful approach to extension development so that is what uh these are the characteristics of al programming apart from this okay these are all the basic thing apart from this we also have some more objects that we'll be discussing so what are the objects which are supported by al programming that we will discuss in day 3 or day 4 i think so next to talk about is the applications of al programming so al programming uh, are vast within context of business central so developer use al programming usually developers those who are developing the business central right those who are coding the business central they will be using the al programming to create extensions that can do everything from adjusting the user interface to overhauling the business logic that drives the platform's operations this flexibility is is key to ensuring that business central can meet the evolving needs of businesses in various industry so even though you are a functional consultant and so knowing the basic functionality or basic characteristics of al knowing the basics of application language what it can do will definitely help you when you are dealing with the customers okay so next to talk about al programming use cases these are all very limited use cases i have added but these are the common use cases okay so al programming uh, i hope you all know business central business central is like an erp so if you want to know business central please go and check my uh, playlist uh, where you will understand what is the basics of business central because this co- challenge is completely on al programming so i don't want to do go in detail with business central basics and all So let's talk about some real world use cases of AL programming. So developers can enhance financial reporting, create custom reports that provide insights tailored to specific business requirements. So this is one use case that is financial reporting. Uh to talk about the second important case to use case is what inventory management. which can also be improved with a custom extension that provide more efficient ways to track and manage stock levels okay here you can track and manage the stock levels you can use al programming uh, to uh, uh, to develop your business central perfectly and the third use case is what allows for integration with external services such as payment gateways or crm systems creating a more connected and efficient business ecosystem as i told these are not limited to there are various use cases i have just giving i'm just giving you a few things okay only a few uh, example use cases for that so though we are talking about the uh, plus of al programming what are the basic limitations of al programming that also you should know as a developer and as a functional consultant so while al programming is a powerful within its domain it's important to know its limitations as well so al is not a general purpose programming language and is specifically designed for business center okay what do you mean by general purpose programming language uh you, most of you might have heard about python okay so python you can design it for anything you can create a, a game using python you can create web, website web development so you can manage website using python uh you can do data analysis with python so it is a general purpose programming language whereas al is specifically meant for business central development you cannot do al programming for anything else other than outside business central 
okay so this is not suitable for task outside of this environment which is a business central environment you cannot do anything outside it so its specialized nature ensures that it is optimized for business central but also means it cannot be applied to other database or erp system okay this i am talking about only al programming you cannot use al programming in sap okay you know about erp which is a sap okay you cannot use this that is what we are i'm just trying to tell you so yes we understood the basics of al programming what are the characteristic why it is used and everything now let us get started with al programming and this is going to be your first exercise that is a two days exercise so you have to download visual studio code in order to start working with al programming that is in order to start working for the tomorrow session okay so you have to download the al extension this is the first step step this is the second step and this is the third step to configure the sandbox and business central connection and fourth step is what we'll be starting from tomorrow okay so how you can download see you have to go to the uh, this particular uh, uh, link url code.visualstudio.com slash download so if you are using windows please download it from here so you have to download it from here and install vs to vs code okay once you have installed your vs code will look like this don't bother about this okay your vs code will look like this all these five uh, icons you can see okay i think till this you can see so you can click this this is what extensions you have to install this is a second step to install al language extension so once if you click and if you go and type it here al extension al language you can see this is the al language extension for microsoft dynamics 365 you have to click install here since i have already installed so it is showing uninstall you if you haven't installed it you will be seeing this um uh, install okay install uh, come button here you can see this install button here so you can uh, find it if you want a step by step instruction so go to gomes tech talks channel and click on this playlist okay so once if you click playlist you can see the business central tutorial technical consultant playlist so once if you click on that you can see the second and third video which is what i am telling you as an exercise so you can understand the basics of business central okay so today we have understood the basics of al programming if you want to know basics of business central you can learn it and also here you can see getting started with dynamics 365 how you have to download how you have to install the a uh, v uh, als to al extension and everything i have already discussed in my playlist so please go and watch it okay and if you have for in order to access business central you should have your company domain or a school domain that is a college domain what does it mean so your a uh, mail id for example your mail id is uh, your name okay imagine that your mail id is your name at the rate gmail.com means this is a public domain okay this is public domain gmail is a gmail domain so it should be like your university.com something like this or else your company organization.com it should be like this in this case you can directly um, uh, avail the free license of business central so if you don't have one okay if you feel like no i have completed my uh, college i have completed my university studies and now i am searching for a job uh, so i am learning this okay in that case you have to watch this like how to get the free trial um with this particular domain okay on microsoft.com domain and you can access this this is also there in my video you can find the 120th video where you can access how, uh, i have already told you like how to create a free domain and get access to it so we have came to the day one conclusion we have understood what are the importance of al programming we have learned the characteristic of al programming and what are the use cases of al programming we have understood the limitations of al programming and uh, uh finally you should start working with al programming so if you wanted to go ahead with the tomorrow session you know you should know uh you should have uh, um you should have your al programming installed in your in your screen okay so you are in your laptop so please go and uh, first go and install it and we will be discussing tomorrow uh, about 
we'll be discussing about variables and data types in al programming okay what is a variable what is a data type and why it is very important and uh, what happens if you are not declaring a variable and what all these things will be we will be understanding it tomorrow so tomorrow it will be a practical session where i'll be opening the visual studio code and i will explain you everything in um, in visual studio code itself so please be ready thank you Take care. If you have any queries, please leave that. Even if you have any feedback, please leave that in the comment. I am very happy to assist you. Take care and bye-bye.